Hey guys, welcome to another Thank Truck It's Friday. The weather's really warming up now. You saw Millie's video a week or two ago on the Zero Breeze air conditioner. Today, I'm gonna to take you through this Indel B Oblo 1600 cab cooler. Okay, Indel B, you've probably seen a few of our videos now. We've mentioned them many times. They are our supplier for cab coolers like this, um, portable cool boxes, compressor fridges, built-in fridges that go into trucks um, and vans as well. We have some smaller ones. We've done previous videos on pretty much all of the fridges now. So you might be familiar, hopefully you're familiar with the brand name Indel B. Um, if you're not, Indel B are an Italian company. Um, great heritage in the automotive industry, great heritage in the commercial vehicle industry as well. They are the preferred OEM supplier for about five of the six top truck brands that there are in Europe. Um, they make, most likely make, if you're in, in a truck at the moment, they most likely make the fridge that's in your vehicle. Um, it won't, probably won't say their name on it, but they most likely do. Um, so they really know what they're doing when it comes to refrigeration and cooling and air conditioning and that type of thing. Um, another big part of their range is air conditioning or cab cooling. Um, which is what this Oblo 1600 unit is. Uh, they do a different range of cab cooling as well. So they don't just do a roof mounted unit like this. They do rear mounted unit that goes on the back of the cab. They also do other units which um, are called Smart In. So that's actually an integrated cooling system within the vehicle. So there's no external additional units. It's really clever. It all gets hidden up inside the vehicle, um, which is something new from Indel B as well. So yeah, they, they, they know what they're doing. Um, they've got a lot of heritage behind them. The product quality is second to none. The warranty support is second to none. Um, our guys, well, we, we chose to partner with them many years ago and our technicians here are all fully trained. They've been out to Italy and they've had the, the education on the install and the warranty and any servicing that can do. So we feel we've got the knowledge as well now, which is excellent. We're glad that we can help support the Indel B brand in the UK. Um, and to be part of that community as well. But anyway, that's Indel B. If you want to find out more about Indel B, just check out their website or go on our website and it will link through to them. Um, you can find out more about what they do if you're, if you're interested. But to the matter at hand, the Oblo 1600. This is the newest generation of cab cooling or air conditioning from Indel B. Um, as you can see, it's a super slim roof mounted unit um, it's got a really nice design to it it's very sleek um, if you're not familiar the way a roof mounted cab cooler works the unit itself which is what you see here this sits into where the sunroof is so if you're in your truck look up where your sunroof is what you do is you remove the surround from the sunroof you remove the sunroof itself obviously leaves a nice big hole in the top of your cab don't do that while it's raining you put this unit on top and then you'll be able to see underneath here, there's a, uh, a cooling, well, a cooling, a control unit, I should say, and a fan unit, which drops through your sunroof. And this then sits on top of the roof. The cooler itself comes, use, well, it does, if you order it through us, comes complete with a vehicle specific fitting kit. And that covers pretty much every single truck, heavy truck that there is out there. Um, we also do a universal kit for vehicles that don't have a sunroof or perhaps are an older generation where there's not a specific kit and that universal kit pretty much covers off everything else. Um, the only vehicle where there's not a fitting kit available for a roof mounted cooler from Indel B and I do believe from, from other brands as well is the Volvo uh, version 4FH and that's because that particular sunroof is designated as an escape hatch and there's some legislation there with Volvo that just won't allow you to fit one of these to the roof so we don't do it and nor do Indel B because we respect what the OEMs say. But anyway back on track so you've removed your sunroof this unit sits on the roof in between the the unit itself and the sunroof you get supplied with a rubber gasket that seals to the roof gives you a nice tight water watertight seal unit drops down onto there Going onto the inside of the cab, you'll have varying lengths and sizes of, of fitment bars, but they will come with the cooler. 
They run from front to back on your cab, either side. They go on the inside lip of the sunroof, and then on the underside of this, which we'll turn this over and you'll see some B-roll of that, there are um, fitment holes basically, which sandwiches everything to the roof. And then to finish it off nicely, you get a fascia panel, um, which goes on the inside of your vehicle as well. You'll see that will be on the B-roll as well. You'll be seeing that probably now of the fitting kit and the panel, which gives you a nice finish to the inside of the unit and inside of the truck. Um, so everything's been thought about when it comes to the fitment. It, it's as OEM as possible. Obviously, you know, the only thing is you are gonna have this unit on the top of your roof, but you know, it's three and a half, four inches tall. It's not crazy big, it's low profile, it's sleek. This plastic cover, this white plastic cover here is held on with about eight screws that can be removed. You can paint it if you wish, put it back on so then it color matches your truck or whatever you wanna do. You know, it's, it's, it's flexible for that. So what's inside this baby? Well, 1600 watts of power. So it's a, it's a powerful, powerful cooler. Um, it's not, and the, it, whoever tells you they are, they're not. Cab coolers, specifically roof mounted cab coolers, are about on average a quarter of the power of what you would have from an engine driven um, dash air conditioning system. So whenever you're purchasing one of these, please don't think you're gonna get what you get out of your air conditioning vents. It's just not possible, it has to be engine driven. Um, and it requires much more than what could be possibly fitted inside um, a roof mounted cab cooler. With that said, these are not to be sniffed at. Um, on a warm day, so 25 degrees-ish, something like that, um, if your cab temperature's getting up there, this thing should drop that interior temperature from five to 10, 12 degrees. So it's gonna bring it down nicely, um, you know, w when you're parked up. Obviously, if you've got air conditioning in your truck and you're driving along, you might not necessarily need this on whilst you're driving along. Um, but the point of a cab cooler or other people call them parking coolers is when you're parked up at night or during the day on your break and you need to switch your engine off, obviously we're all very conscious of the, of the carbon footprint we're leaving. So we want to keep the emissions down. These, that's where a cab cooler really comes into its own. You don't have to have the engine running. It's battery powered or, you know, wired into the batteries of the vehicle. So it uses the power from the batteries. And, and these things in full eco mode will run for about seven hours before shutting themselves down. They have built in battery protection, so it should never ever leave you with a vehicle non-start, which is a good peace of mind if you do leave it on overnight. Um, but that's, that's the whole reason behind this type of unit is you can park up at night and still have that cool air coming through and circulating within the cab. Um, they're 24 volt, the Oblo 1600. There's other air, condition, air conditioning cab coolers in the range, which are 12 volt as well to suit campers and, and chassis cab vans and that type of thing, or tractors. We, we have those in stock as well. Also part of the, the Indel range, they're called Sleeping Well. Um, if you check out our website, the links will be below on that. So we can offer 12 or 24 volt options. Um, I'm just looking at my stats here because I try to learn everything off by heart, but there's a few things just to, just, just to mention on this one. Um, weight wise, it's not the lightest of things. It's under 25 kilos when it's installed though. So it's not too bad. I, I understand every kilo counts, but it's not a crazy amount of weight to add to the vehicle. Um, they do come pre-gassed, the roof mounted cab coolers. The rear ones, which again, you'll see linked below, they don't come pre-gassed. The reason they don't is because when they're shipped and for the install, it has to be a split system. So you have to then, when you fit it, you join the, the um, tubes together and then you have to gas the unit to get the pressure. But that's on the rear mount. On these roof mount ones, they do come pre-gassed. They take your standard air conditioning gas. Um, how long does that gas last? Well, that depends obviously on how long you use it for. We kind of as a rule of thumb say you're probably going to be regassing it every two to three years um but you know that could vary if you're if you're in you know southern europe every single week and, and using it all the time then obviously you're going to go through the gas a bit quicker but either way um easy to regas you simply remove the top cover there's a refill nozzle and you refill it basically just like you would any normal air conditioner so uh yeah okay so that's the overview Hopefully that gives you an idea of, of how it fits, how it works, what it's all about. 
um, the reason why you might want to purchase one. If you do want to purchase one, um, as of the recording of this video, they're currently at £1,295 plus the VAT. That gets you the cab cooler and most of the fitting kits. There are some that are slightly more expensive. Um, that price could fluctuate by about £100, just depending on which truck you have and how much of a fitting kit is required. Um, all of that pricing is all on our website. Um, if you wanted to spread the cost monthly, we can do that as well, obviously using our pay monthly options. It's interest free. Um, I think with a 10% deposit, it works out at about £77 a month, maybe £78 a month over 18 months um, if you wanted to, to spread the cost. We also offer a nationwide install on these, so you can either bring your vehicle to us here in Ipswich or give us a call and we can send one of our engineers out to you. They cover the entire country, bring the unit with them and they can install it. The install itself for our engineering team who do them on a regular basis, they do them in about four to five hours. Um, we would say if you've not fitted one before, it's absolutely possible. There's a very good instruction manual with this, um, but we probably sort of leave yourself a day, eight hours roughly, just to get your head around it and, and do it properly. We would also say ideally, unless it's a really nice, warm, hot, sunny day, we'd probably say try and get your vehicle inside because obviously when you do remove the sunroof, you've left with a big hole in the roof and we all know a lot what rain loves holes, so it just would fill your car, but we don't want to be doing that. Um, so yeah, uh, fitting cost wise, it's going to vary, um, but like I say, we're four to five hours at the current hourly rate we're charging, your fitting charge is going to be about 300, 350 pounds if you bought the vehicle to us. Um, if we do a travel, then there's, we have different surcharges for the travel as well. But it's best if you just give our, our team a call and we can, we can give, you a, give you an up to date price on that at the time. So yeah, there we are. I hope I haven't bored you. That's the Oblo 1600 from Indel B. Thanks ever so much for watching again. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our socials, like our Instagram, everything. Just find us, type CUDA into pretty much any social network you'll find us. And uh, yeah, keep in touch, keep sending us your messages. Oh, and thank you. Um, at the time of recording this video, we just picked the Truck of the Month competition for this week, this week, this month. Truck of the Month weekly, no, this month. Um, we were absolutely overwhelmed with the amount with literally hundreds and hundreds of entries this month into truck of the month um, thank you so much we actually picked two winners because we we just had that many entries um, we're going for it again check out facebook for that one you need to be in it to win it there's some great prizes coming up so keep an eye out for that anyway thanks a lot enjoy your summer i'll see you soon